Namaste, great morning. Well, here we are again, another day. <sighs> so this morning, I decided I'm going to do a reading because, uh, you know, just what's going on with this person that just loves to troll me, okay? <laughs> Now, you know, when you have somebody, it's one thing, they're making video after video, obsessed with you, okay? But then they start sending you mail to your private email address, you know? And basically, what they're doing is so, in one sense, childish. <clears throat> Yeah, it's like the schoolyard. I know you are, but what am I? I know you are, but what am I? It's basically <laughs> that childish, but it's depraved. Because this stoops so low as to have somebody uh, oppose as a porn. Somebody that produces porn saying they will produce my porn films under, uh, what was it, uh, Chubby Grannies. And they'd rather speak with me because my representative is a bit obnoxious. So, I mean, that, that is, I'm sorry, that's childish. It's also depraved. What are they thinking? But again, this is what I mean when somebody has fallen so low and they are so desperate, absolutely desperate, to hold on to their belief. They cannot hear in any way, shape, or form the truth of what's taking place. So since I report that Nietzsche Nandes has an ongoing trial, that there is a video out of him having sex, so now I'm a porn star. They will transfer that onto me, <laughs> okay? <laughs> They want to transfer everything that's being said about Nichinanda onto me, and even more so, make it even more degraded, okay? So this is, again, the low they will stoop to, to try to justify themselves following Nichinanda and trying to make it untrue. Well, I'm sorry, no matter what you do, it's not going to change the facts. It's not going to change my integrity. Nor is it going to wipe away his wrongdoings. Okay? And it's childish. It's degraded. It's unhinged, unbalanced. Okay? So let's look at this reading that I did this morning to look and see what's going on in their mind, okay? Number one, first card out, schizophrenia. Now, before you go nuts and say I'm saying you're schizophrenic because she watches all these videos. And she thinks I'm watching all of hers, but I'm not. I look at the titles, that's about as far as I get. So it's all you have to do. You know what the content of the video is gonna be by the title, end of story, okay? I do one video, she does 10, okay? So who's obsessed? It's not me. <laughs> I haven't said a thing about Nietzsche and Anda in quite, in quite a few days. It's been a week or two weeks, something, and I won't, nothing to say about it until he goes to his next court date on April 23rd, and then I will report what the outcome of that is. That's it. Okay, I'm just reporting facts as it's taking place. Okay, so anyway, first card out is schizophrenia. Now, when I see schizophrenia, I don't think the person's actually schizophrenic, okay? Although I know she loves to, to use these psychological things that I'm some kind of, what was it? Uh, oh, I don't even... No, but it was all of these as, as much degraded psychological things as she can throw at me. Okay. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> it doesn't. 
keep thinking that, okay? Schizophrenia, but it's like between a rock and a hard place, hanging on for dear life, just, you know, really in that chasm by the fingernails, hanging on, trying to, you know, uh, trying to hold that together, okay? So that's what I see when I see that card. On one side, it's trying to slow down, okay? She's trying to slow down her mind, slow down her drama, and do some transformation, do some work on herself. Well, that part's all good, okay? It's wonderful. She's trying to do some transformation of herself, and she thinks that Nichananda is helping with it. Okay, that's all good. But, you know, she gathers and collects like a miser, what she's getting there. And it's really making you ugly because you think somebody's trying to take it away from you. No one's trying to take anything away from you. So she wants to make these comparisons. Okay. But it's a schoolyard thing. I know he, you are, but what is he? I know you are, but what is he? That kind of thing. It's like schoolyard. Okay. Schoolyard. Okay. <laughs> So you look at what's behind the miser and the schizophrenia type thing, and it's stress. She's running for all she's worth, and the monkey's ready to pop the ball. Okay. And what's it all about? Again, Nichinanda and his errant behavior, which she doesn't want to believe. So in her not wanting to believe it, she's going to do all she can to try to transfer it here. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't matter how fanciful you want to believe that. And whatever degraded ways you want to try to stoop to, to make it appear to be that way, it's not. Okay. The reality is, yes, he is in court for those actions to be determined if they are genuine or if they are not. Now, if he were so stand up, why has he sit there and not gone through the court case? Why has he stalled it for eight years, actively stalling and stalling and stalling? Okay, if he were so innocent. He could have gone and had this done years ago. Okay. There's also one, I'm going to give you a little URL at the bottom of this thing of an interview that was done with him early on. Okay. Where he actually says, how dare they slap a rape charge on me? It's like slapping a 200 rupee charge on a president. And if it were rape, why did she come to my room for four years if it was rape? Okay. So you want to continue to believe that he is a celibate. He has had nothing to do with these women. You can see it from his own mouth that he proclaims that she was coming to his room for four years. Okay. And this is an interview that they repressed and didn't want it out. Okay. But see it for yourself. Okay. And then afterwards, he came up with all these skews about, oh, I'm celibate. I didn't do it. I couldn't have sex. I'm a, you know, all these other dramas. But no, in this, he was making light of it. He was joking about it. And his followers, they're all... Okay, so understand what you are involved in. This is not to take away from the fact if you think whatever things he's giving is helping you in your transformation. Fine, take that. Take that, use that for your benefit. Okay. So anyway, let's look a little bit more of what we have going on here. Don't make false comparisons, though. 
You don't have a right to sit here and smear me, attempt to smear me and send me degraded emails. Okay. Because what does that make you? What type of a person would do that? Would stoop to that low of an activity to harass someone? Okay. That you would actually go and have somebody send me a thing as if they are a porn. It, it, really? That's depraved. Okay. That's sick, childish, okay? And so none of your harassments are going to change anything that's happening. It's not going to make his trial go away. And it's not going to skew and impede my integrity, okay? It's just not. You just make yourself look foolish, desperate, okay? And unhinged, frankly. Frankly speaking, it's starting to look like you're becoming very unhinged. So anyway, there's a difference between standing your ground, which you have every right to do. You can stand your ground. But that doesn't mean that you go on a shadow thing, which is what you're doing now, engaging a shadow self and going on a false attack. Okay? Bringing out the absolute worst in yourself and justifying it, and justifying it, okay? How are you going to feel when he actually has the court trial, and if he's sent to prison, then what? Then what, okay? Then what about all your actions? You might want to sit and think about that a little bit. Okay. Again, I did not create his bad behavior. And there are those, when I say he doesn't understand what he's talking about, there are those that will tell you that are Shavites that will tell you he does not understand that tradition at all. Does not understand it at all. And if you had been a student and you understood and had read all the Agamas and all of the Vedas and had studied those and understood them and gone into them in depth, you would see that he really is very surface and, and although it sounds great to ego and maybe you're getting something from it, he does not have the depth. And most of the stuff he's doing, he's stolen from Osho, Maharishi Mahesh Yogi, UG Krishnamurti, the list goes on and on, okay? I know you don't want to hear that either, but be it as it may, it doesn't, you know, negate the truth. Okay, so best thing I can give you, which I know you're going to scream about, is temperance. Okay, you might want to take a little temperance in your actions. Okay, need to get a little balance in there understand what it is between the subconscious and the conscious realm, okay? How these interconnect, okay? okay? But again, you know, this is not just this person. People will leave the ashram there and they will be followed by Nietzsche and Nanda, people that are still there, they will be harassed, ridiculed, okay? It's really, you know, it's, uh, they really stoop to very, very low behaviors and justify it, okay? I've had them call, 
you know, your little friend that you talk with behind the scenes, I know you talk with her. What is it, Priya, Priya, whatever it is, Anand with the face and the, you know. She's called for my demise by any means possible on one of her videos. Oh, now that's a good spiritual person, okay. And you see the videos of his students running around acting like thugs, cursing people, using the most foul language they can use. And again, doing these tricks of the blindfolds, which you can see through the blindfold to read. Okay. And then claiming these big powers and to use children to use children to lie and cheat the people in this way. It's egregious. Or manifesting gems. Okay. I've shown how these things are done. I've done them, showed them exactly how it's done. Okay. No great mystery. Okay. It's a trick. It's a con to pull people in. Okay. You say, well, why don't you talk about other gurus? I have. When Sai Baba was alive, I talked about him. He's a pedophile. He was a pedophile. Again, another con man that used the same magician's tricks. Okay. There are those that still don't want to believe it, but they actually found where he was having these things made that he was producing and telling him it was real gold and everything. And it wasn't, it was all fake. Okay. All faked. Same thing. Okay. So no, I have no respect for these so-called gurus and teachers that haven't done the work and want to draw people in, charge them thousands and thousands of dollars and ruin their lives basically brainwash them okay and he's one of the most egregious this is why i continue to speak out because he makes people sign a non-disclosure agreement where if they leave and they open their mouth he can sue them for everything he's already taken thousands of dollars they've gotten nothing from it except for heartbreak and disillusionment and I've heard story after story after story of it. Okay. So it's, you know, it's so sad. Really, it's heartbreakingly sad. And why I continue, and I have always done my teaching online, I have an ashram, people come, they give, they don't give. There's no charge ever for teachings. You cannot sell spirituality, okay? If you're gonna sell it, then you're a businessman. It's a product. Spirituality is not a product that one sells, okay? It's there to aid people to move forward in their lives. Yes, it should be appreciated and there should be some sort of an exchange. But not everybody has the same amount of funds. Okay. I depend on the good grace of people to give back in some manner. Okay. But no teachings are ever withheld from anyone because of money. Ever, ever, ever. Never has that been done. And no genuine teacher that cares about humanity would ever do that, okay? Because spirituality is not a product to be sold, bartered and sold, and that cheapens it, okay? That cheapens it. And no, I have not gone out of my way to promote myself I had that opportunity when I lived in India. Okay, there was the opportunity for promotion. 
Someone from a big newspaper came to see me in Siliguri. Okay. And they wanted to promote me. And I saw what that was about. When they want to promote somebody, build a big ashram around them. It's very political in nature and it's all about money. Okay. And I absolutely would not go for it 100%. I never have and I never will. Okay. It's not about promotion. It's not about any of that drama. Okay. So again, you know, when people come and they want to try to smear you because of their insecurities, their sadness within themselves because they don't want to believe the truth. They don't want to look. They'd rather just lash out in as many hate-filled ways as they can. In one way, you feel sorry for them. You have, you know, compassion. I understand you want to believe that. Okay. I understand that. You want to believe that he is what he says he is, that he's this God-man. But he's, you know, his incarnation has never been talked about in any scriptures. Okay. Hasn't. Okay. And this thing that you wanted to put out in one of your videos, what was it? That, um, oh yes that I was in India. Now this came out of the, the thing because Nityananda tried to take over a mutt. He actually even drugged the water. Okay. Wanted to take over a Shaivite mutt and he's not a Shaivite. He may call himself Shiva all he wants, but he is not a Shaivite. He was never uh, initiated into a Shaivite tradition. He is not teaching a Shaivite tradition. He thinks he is, but he is not. Okay. So her projection on this to me was that I, as she's telling the story, that I was in India. I wanted to take over this person because I was a woman. The men voted me out and threw me out. It's never happened. Nothing remotely close. I didn't try to start anything when I was in India. Okay. <laughs> okay. I did go to uh, South India. Was ushered into temples, the Sankachari of Kanchipuram that just died recently. Um, there, uh, it was his personal pujari that did my my ceremony for sannyas everything. They ushered me into the temples, and usually foreigners are not allowed in that temple at all, and they ushered me right up to the front of the line. They asked me to come back and participate in ceremonies with them. Okay, that's the reality. I haven't been back. But that opening was there. Okay. So again, I have nothing to hide, but I really don't appreciate people making up nonsense and acting like childish schoolyard bullies, okay? But if that's what you want to continue to do with your life, be my guest. Show absolutely how negative and nasty of a person you can be. It's not going to benefit you. And it's not going to change the situation. It's not going to change me. Okay? When the trial is over one way, which way, ever way, which way it goes, I'm done with it. Done with it. Okay? 
justice will be have been served one way or another. Okay. So I'm going to leave this here. And again, those that are dealing with people that want to come and harass and bully, make up stuff, lie, spin, you know, basically schoolyard things. I know you are, but what am I? <laughs> While it may be a bit annoying, okay? Again, don't let it rock your world. Understand this too will pass and it's coming out of their own insecurities, failings, you know, their, their hatreds for themselves, that they're not happy in their life. And since they're so miserable, they want to make you as miserable as they are. Okay. Well, I didn't create your misery. I'm not the founder of it. I'm not the substantiator of it. Okay, you keep it going by your own actions. I did not seek you out. You sought me out. I'm not making video after video after video after video of you. Okay. I do one video, you do 20. <laughs> so who's obsessed? You want to say I'm a stalker? You're stalking my email address, my video channel. <laughs> okay. Oh, I see. If you tell me that you're watching it, that's not stalking. I guess if your husband had told you he was following you with a gun, it wouldn't have been stalking because he let you know. Because you claim he, he, he did that. That's what you were claiming, right? Okay. Whether or not that really happened or was just in your mind, who knows, okay? But the point is, no, that does not negate stalking, okay? When I do one video and you do 20 and you are obsessed, okay, that your whole channel, you can't do a video without talking about me spinning, okay? That's an obsession, and that is a stalking behavior. Okay. You want to try to tell my students they need to beware that I'm a stalker? And you watch all these videos and want to try to convolute it and turn it, you know, that it's not you that's doing it, it's me. That transference that you're doing. Okay. It's not going to work. My students know me. Okay. People leave this path. You know what I tell them? They want to leave. There's the door. Nobody's constrained to be here. I don't chase after them. I don't goad them. Okay. So whatever your mind is trying to make up and fantasize about, it's not happening. I have an online ashram. I have people that are there. They're giving the practices. I have a whole channel with hundreds and hundreds of videos of instruction and guidance that is free and open to them at any moment. Okay. They post in the online forum. I watch what's taking place. If there needs to be some guidance or instruction given, I give it. That's it. Okay. But unlike Nichananda, people do not come, huddle around me. They're not forced to sign non-disclosure agreements. They're not forced to only sleep three, four hours a night. They're not forced not to have protein. They're not forced not to talk to their friends, their families. Okay? These are his actions, not mine. And no matter how many times you want to sit there and scream and yell, and I know you are, but what is he? And try to put it here instead of there to try to make him squeaky clean and me dirty, it's not going to work. Maybe in your mind it's working. Nobody else. 
Nobody else, okay? Absolutely nobody else. So I'm going to leave this here for you and do with it what you will. Rant again. <laughs> Rant about it, scream about it, bitch about whatever you're going to do. Okay. But again, Ms. Abuse. <laughs> Ms. Abuse. <laughs> Stand up one, you know. Okay. So that's it. That's what's seen. That's what I read in the cards. That's what I'm doing. I read the stories, the new stories that are coming out. I'm not making them up. I'm not writing them. Again, I'm not the one that filed this case against him. I'm simply here and reporting what's going on as it's taking place. And people may judge it one way or another. That's their right. But I have people that continually asking me what is taking place. Okay. So as much as you hate that is happening, they ask me and I will continue to give out that information as it happens. Okay. Have a great day or not. Up to 